Well, it's already that time of year. It's June 15th or around there. We are heading in to scout our Wyoming elk unit. So it's been raining all morning, so the, the road should be pretty nice, no dust. And uh, it's totally unknown for us. We've kind of seen it on the map, but that's about it. So we're going to head in here. Um, 14 miles down to one trail we want to check out and go from there just to kind of explore and see if we can get an idea of what the country's like. So. Been pretty impressive so far. We've uh, got about 10 miles, seen a few deer, and lots of really good country. You can see this high country behind me is pretty amazing. So I've got another four or five miles, and then this road should get us up on top so we can kind of see around. But, um, it's looking pretty awesome. Cody's getting some 360 views right now, but pretty exciting. Pretty, pretty cool to be in country that you've not been in ever before. Every everything's new to you, it's pretty exciting, so having a good time. Well we just made it up to the top here. We're gonna we had a little quick lunch break and now we're gonna kinda of try and head up this ridge, kind of the main ridge that we wanna scout out and hunt. But pretty country. Pretty gorgeous mountains over there in the distance. So took a quick break and we're gonna keep going and see what we can find. It's just on out down here, kind of in the hills, which is kinda of weird, but so it's been fun so far. Well, we're about done for the day. It's about three o'clock. Um, we gotta head out, we gotta get home. Got a pretty good drive left, so. Um, we're clear back in here now. We found a road that just kept on going. We're up here pretty high, but uh, kind of dead ends right here. It goes to a single track. Um, so, never really, I was hoping that it'd get us up kind of some elevation so we could look around a little bit, but it, it sure doesn't, so we're gonna have to do that with our own two feet um, on another trip. But uh, definitely figured out some of the road systems, so we kind of know where we got to, where we can go, where we can't go. Now it's a matter of getting on Google Earth and figuring out what, uh, where we can hike to, where we can start hunting. So anyway, we got to head back out. We're gonna got about a 45 minute drive on the four wheelers. Head back down to the highway. Actually, we're gonna buzz up the highway and save some time. So anyway, good trip.
because it's just the lag. You've got some room to grow. Yeah. What is it, five total? I don't know if I've seen the four. Here we are back on the second scouting trip of the year. It's uh, July 4th, Independence Day. We've been going, it's about eight o'clock now, I think. Been going for about a mile. We just sat down on this first little knoll. And actually, right when we got out of the, got out here, we moved a bear off. Pretty bear, I don't know how big he was, but a pretty good bear. And, uh, what have we picked? What have we seen? 15 head of elk? Yeah, and about 15 head of deer. Yeah. I guess the first we saw half a dozen deer right here close and some decent bucks. And then we picked out some elk and we figured, we figured they'd be right here in this nice mellow stuff, but they're not there. Clear over there by those red cliffs, but we're figuring 10 to 14 miles away. So at first we thought we had you know, a bachelor group. It would have made sense for them to be up there that high, but I think they're all cows so far. Well, it's hard to tell that far away, but. So they're up higher from where we are now, but we're gonna keep going. Got three three miles left probably to get back out of the truck, so. We're seeing plenty of game, that's exciting. Well, about nine o'clock, 10 to nine. Saw a couple more bucks. We've seen probably 10 bucks already. Straight over there in that saddle, they weren't too far away. Not very big, but Dad's gonna he's gonna poke out on that knoll there and wait for me. I'm gonna step down and look off of this one before I motor on. There's actually quite a few tracks on this ridge. Elk tracks, they're old, but there's enough tracks that you think there's a small herd in here somewhere. So I'm trying to figure out where they're at. But we're in about a mile and three quarters, and it's a four and a half mile walk through, so I'm not quite halfway. So, it's been a good hike so far. Well, we could have done without that. We uh, came up here and uh, unloaded the four-wheeler. Started down the road to come up to the Razor. I figured we'd drive her all the way in and just grab the Razor and keep on going. But uh, that four, the camo four-wheeler died about 15 minutes into the 30-minute drive. So we were still uh, about, I don't know, I bet it's I bet it's two or three miles from the Razor and about a thousand feet elevation gain. So, we were kind of standing there twiddling our thumbs, not knowing what to do, and luckily a side-by-side -side came by. And uh, we almost didn't talk him into giving us a ride. Holy crap, the lady was not super excited about helping us out, but they gave me a ride back up to the top, so I was able to grab it. Now we get to go tow the ATV out, the camel one out. So. Of all the times that we have four wheeler problems, it's the one time that we only have one ATV. 
I mean, in all the miles we've covered, and we've always been together with another ATV, so it can die then, and we can just tow it. The one time both of us are on the one ATV, it dies. What are the chances of that? Freaking ridiculous. But anyway, get out of here. Go get something to eat. A Yankee Doodle, hopefully. Makes perfect sense being Independence Day, right? Well, about eight o'clock. Um, it's been a pretty good morning so far. Good hike, nice hike. And about, uh, I think it's just like two miles in on this old logging road, kind of back and forth between the old logging road and the trail. And uh, 
we split up because we didn't really know where we needed to get to to be able to see. And I found a pretty good meadow over here where I can glass that hill. It's not perfect. Um, I can't see all that I wanted to see, which pisses me off. But there's still a lot of this hill that I haven't been able to glass, and it's getting late in the morning, so that's unfortunate. But I've seen six or seven bulls, one six point. His ones are kind of raghorns. And uh, saw some bucks way up high. And I was too busy freaking deleting photos off my phone. So I had space to shoot more footage. And they got over the top before I could get them. But I know that one was a pretty good, pretty dang good buck. And it sucks. I didn't get any footage of them, but whatever. So I also seen two cows up high. And then a cow and a bull moose. Um, kind of randomly ran off to. It was kind of weird, but... So now I'm gonna get back on this logging road here and uh, keep going out. Now it's just discovery mode, just see what we can find, so. Well, I kind of left the road back there a little ways and followed this game trail up to this water hole, which will make for a great wallow for a huge bull later this fall. But, uh, Still not getting anywhere where I can see very good, but so I just started walking through the trees on this trail. Found this big meadow, swampy water. So I've dropped a pin and hopefully, hopefully we can come back to it. I don't see any trail cameras on it. I'm thinking about putting my trail camera on it, but I don't know. Not a ton of sign, but there's a few tracks coming into it. Well, I found another <clears throat> another meadow here. Looks like there's probably some water right here in this this bottom end. So, seen a few elk tracks and some poop, but not a ton of sign. But actually, hold on, where's some Bunch of elk tracks right there. That's a good sign. Man, if they're in this stuff when they rut, it's gonna be fun to hunt them. Um, Cause it's just kind of pockets and rolling hills. I don't really want to have to go <laughs> clear to the top. But man, if they're rutting in this, we're gonna have a good time with the bow anyway. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of tracks right here. So I've dropped a pin on this spot too. I have to come back to it. Well, I ended up finding one more water hole that actually had quite a bit of water in it. Um, I dropped a pin on that water hole three, and uh, I put my trail camera on it. Um, there was a few elk tracks on it, not nothing crazy, some deer tracks. Um, so I guess let's we'll see. And hopefully, over the next two months, we get some get an idea of what's in here, so. Uh. Joseph, you copy? Yeah, I copy. I'm at the, at the split. Okay, I'm still a fair ways away from that. What do you want to do now? Huh, guess we're still going at it. We met up and had a little snack, a little lunch, and uh, just heading back out now. It's only like 11 o'clock, so I thought it'd take us a little longer to get done what we wanted to get done, but uh, Brian and Dad are gonna be another hour or two before they get to the truck. They're making a loop. So, anyway, we, should, we probably should have made a loop out of here, but didn't really plan that way, so anyway. Heading out, kind of, kind of glass on the way out a little bit, poke around, but it's been a decent morning.